Tell me what has gone right this offseason for the 49ers. Oh, by far the biggest thing is Brock Purdy actually being on track to play week one. I mean, there was mm. so many questions. When that final like postseason presser happened, we're like, mm, do we trust the 49ers with injuries? There's probably no way that he's back. And then there was the setback because of the swelling in Brock Purdy's arm. Then we're like, oh, God, I mean, six months is right when the season starts. You look at Nick Mullins. It took really seven months, and then it actually took nine months because he didn't play for Cleveland, and all those thoughts were out there. The fact that Brock Purdy came back at the beginning of training camp, and yes, he's in this deloading process now. It still looks like he's in a play week one and have – practice quite a bit actually i think that's definitely the biggest thing that has gone right this offseason i would have to agree i mean this is interesting uh it was possible he was gonna be out the entire year half the year part of the year he's gonna potentially be there for the whole year and now the question is not will he be there for the beginning but will he be there for the end if he's not there if he wasn't there at all given what they wanted to do with trey lance the fact that they that their plan essentially this year was Brock or Sam. Trey's out. Yeah, thank God Brock Purdy came back. Mm -hmm. We thought Trey had a chance. No, 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 no. It came down to Brock or Darnold the whole time. Whew. Man, Brock Purdy saved the Niners again. Saved Kyle Shanahan from himself again. Can he do it the entire season? That's the, that's the, big, that's the storyline. Because if Sam Darnold has to start uh, more than one game for this team, if he has to start a playoff game for this team and he loses and it's not good, man, I'd love to see what happens to Kyle Shannon after that. You know what else I would say has actually gone relatively right, assuming that Kittle is back week one? We were going one. positive. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you have any? You might have something else. So if you want to. I think add I just veered something. into the negativity. So keep getting back to positive. Yeah, Sorry. I do that yeah, sometimes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go. <laughs> yeah, appreciate, appreciate it. Score not to go negative. I'm so mad. I'm being positive. <laughs> I would say just overall, I mean, they've been, they're going into the season relatively healthy, which last year, who missed? We had Kittle miss. We had, I mean, I guess. Oh, Debo wasn't in shape, Kittle miss, and then it just kind of was downhill from there. There was injuries and what have you. I I think for the most part, they're going into this season healthy, which is huge for them. We'll see how long they can maintain it because that can derail the season for sure, but relatively healthy going into the season. I would say that's gone right for them as well. Yeah. Um, what else is going right for them? The fact that Nick Bosa hasn't asked for a trade. That's a big win. It actually win. is a big one considering what's going on. Yeah, I agree. Nick Bosa just kept quiet. No official trade request. That's money. Um, Christian McCaffrey still healthy. They're still late healthy. round rookies all panned out. Yeah. Not easy to now, do. Now, George Kittle and, and uh, Elijah Mitchell heard again, but they're, you know, that's sort of the way it goes but Chris McCaffrey, yeah Elijah Mitchell's one thing Kittle should be back week one though I don't know about Debo's Mitchell. in great he, shape he stays hurt Debo's in, Debo's great, in shape. great shape you guys saw it yeah. for yourself in the preseason yeah I use better than last year um you can always count on Fred Warner Tashawn Gibson's still good Mooney's still good I call him Mooney because we what about Mooney. what about Diamador Lenore he looks pretty Stepping damn good I, I will say this one thing I did not see from him this whole offseason is any issues holding up in coverage. He's looked pretty damn good. Yep. They got a great young kicker. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Why yeah, do I do you that? couldn't resist it. Why, why did I do that? <laughs> the rest of the show to be snarky, and I just couldn't. I'm sorry. That's. Do you ever see that, that South Park where um, Randy's dad, I mean, Stan's dad, Randy, creates sarcastic ball, and he just can't stop being sarcastic? <laughs> no. Sometimes I feel like Randy in that episode, like, please help me. I can't stop. 